Well, for, to begin with, I'm here at the Jefferson Memorial uh, for my book talk. Here we are in this history museum where I am going to teach you about my Uncle Max life's work. Uh, ADA is ADA is a law is a law that was passed 20 years ago. It made it it made it illegal to discriminate discriminate uh, people with disabilities. Imagine yourself with a disability, anything. Uh, your leg, you can't move your legs, paraplegic. You're blind, you're deaf. Or you're quadriplegic, quadriplegic, which is arms and legs. All right, so people try to hide, people try to hide their disabilities so they would not be discriminated. For instance, this pearl necklace, the one up there, this one. This woman tried to hide her disabilities by having a necklace with, and her hearing in her ear with a little battery pack right here. My aunt and uncle founded Paraclub because they wanted everybody, they wanted everybody to be able to, to be able to do all kinds of things like my uncle Max. They wanted to, they wanted to have a job, have kids, and do anything. Well, you and me could do. try to do everything you and me could do. These people are these people are climbing up the Capitol stairs because there are no lifts, no elevators to get up. But before we go, this has nothing to do with it. But my grandfather, great grandfather, designed the ceiling and the seal. You blind yourself from all the things that they can do. My Uncle Max, he was a father. He was a painter. He was the founder of Fairpod. He could paint. This is my Uncle Max. Uncle Max got out of his van. Let's get in. He didn't take the steps. He came this way and said hi to stop. This is my Aunt Colleen, um, wife of Uncle Max. Hi, Leo. Hi, uh, I have a few questions for you. Sure. First of all, I want to tell you I'm really happy and proud of you that you're doing a little story about your Uncle Max because he truly was a very, very, very great man. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right. What are Max's um, biggest accomplishments? Well, Uncle Max uh, made life better for millions of people all around the world, a lot of whom don't even know what he did. You know those curb cuts that you see at the corner when you can go up on your bicycle and you yeah. don't have to step up, up a curb? Yeah. And have you ever seen lifts on buses? Mm-hmm wheelchair lifts so people who use wheelchairs can get on buses yeah. and also the Metrolink train mm -hmm. that's all accessible because of Uncle Max but also homes people in wheelchairs can get in people who are deaf and who are blind can't be treated badly because of the Americans with Disabilities Act have you ever heard of that yeah okay Uncle Max had a whole lot to do with all of that so he had a lot of major accomplishments all all the things Uncle Max did made life better for people who are disabled. And I also understand you tried to make your house as accessible as you could. Yes, we did. Did you see the ramp in the back? Did mm -hmm. you see the elevator? Did you show your friends that? Uh, we will have to do that after I don't questions. And we can show them the lift on Uncle Max's van? Alright. Those That's are just fun. some of the things we did. What presidents did he meet? Uncle Max and I went to the inauguration of President Ronald Reagan. Uh, we met President Jimmy Carter and worked hard to get him elected president. And we met Colonel, uh, we met, uh, we also met President Clinton and his wife, Mrs. Clinton, who is now the Secretary of State. We also met President Obama before he was president. But you know what's important about that? 
when you know people who make laws like the presidents do, and they understand what you care about, they help you make the world a better place by changing the laws. That's yes. why we got to know them. That's a good reason why he got to know. That's a good reason. And why was he accepted at the White House? Why was he accepted at the White House? Well, uh, first of all, the presidents began to think that people with disabilities were an important group of people in our country to care about. And so they welcomed people who were leaders, like Uncle Max, to the White House to learn more about how those presidents could help people who were disabled. And we're not just talking about people who use wheelchairs, you know. That's people who are blind and people who are deaf, kids who have disabilities, older people who are going to become disabled and they don't know that yet. All those people benefited from the kind of work your Uncle Max did. All right, that's done. What should you do if you meet someone with a disability? Well, first of all, you should never treat them like they're odd or weird just like you wouldn't want somebody to treat you like you were strange or odd if you had uh, two different color eyes or if you walked with a limp or you had a diff different way of speaking. So you should always say, hi, how are you? My name's Liam or my name's whatever, and just be nice to them, just like you'd want them to treat you. Go through, treat others how you want to be treated. That's exactly right. How are things different because of Uncle Max? Well, you know, when Uncle Max and I started dating Liam, you didn't ever see anybody uh, in a, with a disability very much out in public. So now, when you go to malls, do you ever see people in a wheelchair there? Or do mm -hmm. you ever notice people signing with their hands? Um, or do you notice people who use a cane? Or they're blind, or they have a, a dog with those? them? Yeah. Well, the world's changed because when before you were born, that wasn't very common. But now you see people who have some kind of disability, they're working, they're parents, they go, they are out in the malls, they go to movies, they do all the kinds of things that you like to do. So that's how the world has changed for the better. Why, what did Uncle Max, what did you and Uncle Max do after Paraquat? Well, we left Paraquat in 2003 because even though World, the world was better for people with disabilities, still people don't accept people who have a disability. Still they treat people funny and treat them different, and they sh that's not right. So we started the Starkloff Disability Institute to change people's attitudes about people who have a disability. My disability is a big part of who I am. Without it, I wouldn't have met my wife. I wouldn't have known my three kids. I wouldn't have this career trying to help others to help themselves. I like who I am. I'm a guy named Max, who wants pretty much the same thing you want out of life. I just need a hand with a few things. That's all. This is how he got outside to go to work. Pretty cool, huh?